Come on, come on. It's a Charmander, yes! Come on, buddy. High level Charmander, 539. That is definitely my highest Charmander. Ember and Flame Burst. Man, that is awesome, good. Sweet, a 539 egg hatch, how awesome is that? 2K egg. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Liquid and today we're going to talk about how to train in Pokemon Go. So in Pokemon Go, whenever I first started, I quickly grabbed my Bulbasaur, my starter, and I went off into the world of Pokemon to catch them all. And I noticed something, but it was a little bit too late. I'd already hit level five or level six on my first account, and I noticed that every single brand new Pokemon that you caught, that one that you haven't seen before, you were getting 500 experience points for it being a new Pokemon, and then 100 experience points just for that regular catch, and maybe 10 or whatever for your nice throw or great throw but a brand new Pokemon added to your Pokedex was at least 500 experience points. And so I, would ca I caught my Rattata, um, and then a little bit later I caught another Rattata, and it was only 100 experience points. And uh, I joined a team, uh, Instinct, because I love Zapdos, but I quickly left it because a couple of my friends were Team Mystic. I restarted, went over again, and I said to myself, I'm going to level up super, super quick. I'm going to breach this gap. So what I did is I got into the game, I started over again, I grabbed a Bulbasaur as my starter, and then I put a little bit of money into the game. It was like $3, $5, I can't remember. And I bought a Lucky Egg, okay? And then I started going on a walk, and I popped that lucky egg, and whenever I hit up this lure spot, there was a jackload of Pokemon, and so catching that Rattata, the very, very first time I caught him, it wasn't just 500 experience points, no, it was 1,000 experience points. And in fact, it wasn't just 500, of course, you get 600 because just the regular catch, so I got 1,200 experience points just for catching that Rattata. And then lo and behold, there's another Pidgey right there. Boom, another 1,200 experience points. Points. Not 500, um, not just 600, but 1,200 because I'd popped this lucky egg. And within an hour's time, I was catching all these different Pokemon all over the neighborhood. My trainer level was going up so quickly that I believe within an hour or so, I had gotten from level 1 up to level 10. And there's another trick that I was doing as well. I had had my incubator and also bought another incubator and I popped this lucky egg. Um, I'd gotten some eggs from some Pokestops, and I'm walking around, and I am hatching these 2K eggs, and sure, they're Pidgeys and stuff, but when you hatch 2K eggs, you get 200 uh, extra experience points for the Pokemon. When you hatch a, a 5K egg, it's 500 experience points extra for the Pokemon, and if you hatch a 10K egg, it's 1,000 experience for that new Pokemon, or, or even if it was just a, a 10K Pokemon you've already got. But if you're lucky egging it while you're hatching these Pokemon out of these eggs, you're not getting 1,000 um, experience points, you're getting 2,000 for that 10K egg. And if it is a brand new Pokemon, then instead of getting just 1,500, you're getting 3,000 experience for that 10K egg. So I walked out there, I was lucky egged up, I was, I was walking as fast as I could, um, hatching these eggs, and within a matter of an hour, I went from level one to level 10. Now another way to get a lot of experience really quickly and to level up is if you see some gems that are not your color, let's see your Team Mystic and you see a Team Valor or a Team Instinct gem and they have like two Pokemon in there and you can easily go in there and wipe them out, that is some quick experience. For each Pokemon you defeat at a gym, that's 100 experience. And sometimes sitting at a gym, you can find six to eight Pokemon, and if you are stacked up in your own roster of six Pokemon, you can make an easy 600 to 800 experience points right then. And of course, if you're lucky egging it, you're gonna get 1,200 to 1,600 experience points right there just for taking out someone else's Pokemon. It's another quick way to level up. By far, though, the easiest way to start leveling, you have already captured a lot of Pokemon. What you wanna do, um, is you want to have at least 60 Pidgeys or 60 Caterpies or Weedles or Rattatas, whatever you're stocked up on, or just an amount of Pokemon that you can evolve that amounts to 60 Pokemon, all right? The reason why is because when you pop a Lucky Egg, you have 30 minutes of double experience points, and it takes about 25 to 30 seconds for the animation per Pokemon for you to evolve it. So let's say you have 60 Pidgeys and it costs 12 
uh, Pidgey candies to evolve each one of those Pidgeys into a Pidgeotto, well, you need 720 Pidgey candies to evolve 60 Pidgeys in a 30 minute time frame. And it sounds ridiculous, so what I do is I look at all my Pokemon, I've got a lot of Sandshrews, I got a lot of Ekans, I got a lot of Pidgeys, a lot of Rotatas, whatever I have a lot of, I write it down, okay? I get out, a, uh, I get out my, my pen, I get out a piece of paper, and I say, okay, I can, I've got 148 uh, Pidgey candies, I can at least evolve uh, let me do the math of 12 or so Pidgeys. Okay, I've got this many Rattata candies. I can evolve this many Rattatas and I write it down and I try to revolve a, a revolve. You know, revolve anything in this game, okay? I try to evolve um, if I have some high level Eevees, like three of them and I've got enough candies, I'm going to evolve three Eevee evolutions or a Growlithe evolution. Now, for just regularly evolving a Pokemon, you get 500 experience points. And again, if you've popped a lucky egg, you're gonna be getting 1,000 experience points. So when you're ready to do this Pidgey Pokemon grind thing we're talking about, if you did what I told you to do in my last video, uh, do not evolve, if you haven't evolved any Pokemon yet and you've waited till this point, okay, you're level 19, you're level 20, whatever level you are and you're ready to do this, this experience Pokemon grind thing, um, when you evolve these Pokemon, you're gonna get 500 experience points for each Pokemon that you evolve, but you will also be taking this Pidgey, turning it into a Pidgeotto, or this Rattata, or Rattata, however you ever say it, into a Raticate, or this Geodude is turning into a Graveler, okay, or this Caterpie is turning into a Metapod, and so on and so forth. You don't have these Pokemon yet. You're not only getting that regular 500 experience, but you're doubling it because you're lucky, Egg, you're getting a thousand, but you're also getting, for those first couple of those uh, Pidgeys into a Pidgeotto, you're getting an extra 500 experience points, doubled, again, because you're lucky, um, egg, it's the first time you've caught one of these Pokemon. And it's just a super quick way to start leveling up and jump levels uh, so you can catch higher CP Pokemon. Right now I'm gonna be showing you some high level CP catches that I got for the past couple days. It's really exciting. All right guys, I just pulled over to my fancy trailer park and apparently there is a Licky Tongue over here. And man, I am so hoping that this Licky Tongue right here is around the corner. We've got a, a sand shrew. We're gonna ignore him right now. Okay, we are ignoring the sand shrew. There is an Arcanine over here. And there is a Paris. We're ignoring the Paris. We are ignoring the Ekans. And we're hoping that this corner right up here, we're hoping that this corner has a licky tongue. That would be stinking awesome. Like stinky, stinky awesome, right? Come on, anything popping up over here? Another sand shrew? No, I don't want the sand shrew. All right, come on. The licky. Oh, there's an onyx out here? What the junk? Where is everything? Come on. I think we're going to pull back over here and check something else out new. Okay. What do we got? It's the Arcanine, guys. Here we go. Look at this guy. Come on, B. B. 1447. Okay, we are going to raspberry him. And we're going to toss a great ball at this beast. He's far back there, guys. I mean, I had to flick that finger to get him out there. Okay, here we go, here we go. One, two, three, three. I threw one Pokeball. Well, I missed one, sorry. But we caught an Arcanine right there, a 1447 Arcanine. He is extra large. 105 hit points, bulldoze and bite. We got the Arcanine. Let's see if we can find the Licky Tongue. How awesome was that, guys? 1400 Arcanine out here. Licky Tongue is real close. He could be around the corner. Come on. I'm gonna drop an Ultra Ball or 20 on him if I can find this guy. Okay, Licky Tongue went away. He's gotta be over here somewhere. What? There's the Onyx, guys. Woohoo! Here we go. I'm going crazy. All right, 350 Onyx. Definitely the best one that I found. We're not gonna let him get away. We're gonna Ultra Ball him because I've got them. Oh, he's like, I don't know what happened there. Okay, we hit him. We hit the Onyx. Okay, here he goes, guys. One, two. Broke out of the Ultra Ball. Oh man, I gotta, okay. Okay, we hit him again. We hit him again. Come on, it was an Ultra Ball, man. One, 
Okay, I'm not wasting all these Ultra Balls on this guy. We're gonna throw some Great Balls. The Onyx is not that wonderful. Okay, a nice throw right in the eyeball. You can't beat that. One, two, come on. We got him with the Great Ball. We got him, guys. We got our Onyx. Now let's get this Licky Tongue. There we go, 41 hit points, great, okay. Licky Tongue is around here, guys. He could be around any corner. He is close. There he is, guys! There he is, we're Ultra Balling this dude straight up. 70, 70 hit points, really? Whatever. We're gonna Raspberry him. We got a Licky Tongue, okay? It's a new Pokemon in the Pokedex. There we go, awesome. Okay, let's do this. Yes, awesome, we got a Licky Tongue, brand new, 70 CP, but brand new Pokemon, we got a curveball. Look at that guys, we threw a Licky Tongue in there, how awesome is that? It's pretty good, he's got Lick <laughs> and Power Whip. Oh well, that's awesome guys, I'll take it. That's exciting, that's a good catch right there. There's a Growly, you can always use more Growlies. There was an Arcanine just here, right? Remember, 776 Growly. There was an Arcanine just over here. So, possibilities? We just caught a 1400 Arcanine out here. And now we saw, we're gonna try to catch this 1770, or 1776 America. Thumbs up if you know what that even means. One, two, three. Okay, great. We've got the 776 Growlithe. We caught a 1400 Arcanine roughly five minutes ago. Guys, if you like this video and you like the content that I'm giving you and everything that I'm doing, please subscribe, like this video, share it with your friends. Um, I thank you guys already for the support that I've been getting. I really much appreciate it. Um, my name is Liquid and I will see you guys on the Flippy Flop.